Located in the extreme southern lowlands of Ethiopia, Borana Zone is one of 14 administrative zones of Oromia Regional State and home to more than 1,400,000 Ethiopians. Ethnically, Borana and Guje Oromos are the dominant groups in the zone. The zone also constitutes minor ethnic marginalized groups like Kanso, Gebra, and Burji, and others. The people have a dynamic and territorial social administrative structure called the Geda system, which regulates social, economic, and political conditions of the people. Traditionally, these people also have the custom of working in teams and helping each other in times of difficulty. Borana Zone occupies 48,360 square kilometers. Almost three quarters of the zone is lowland pasture, favorable enough for livestock production, but frequently affected by drought. Pastoralism remains the dominant farming system determining the rural Borana economy. Major income sources in lowland Borana are livestock and livestock products. Most portions of the zone receive their main rain during spring, with lesser rains in autumn. With poor sanitation, most traditional wells, streams, and ponds are totally or partially dry during the non-rainy season. Pastoralists are forced to move their animals to very distant places, seeking perennial water supplies. The people and their livestock suffer not only from an inadequate supply of water, but also from communicable and waterborne diseases by using water from common sources that are open, unprotected, and stagnant. So, recurring drought and prevalence of disease are the major factors, among others, that threaten the livelihood of these pastoralists. We face a severe water problem. We get water from a hand-dug and protected bonds. When these traditional bonds are dried, we are forced to travel up to six hours and above to get water from other areas. During a dry season, our women are mostly suffered from a water problem because women are responsible to manage the household. I remember one case which shows the suffering of women. One woman who is going to fetch water from a distant place gave a delivery on the way to the bond. On that condition, people got her and carried with the newborn child and come back home. It was really accidental, but I think it shows how we are suffering from water problem. <laughs> In responding to an emergency appeal for water, the International Committee for the Development of Peoples, or CISP, has to implement emergency water supply project through the drilling and construction of deep motorized pumping schemes in Borana Zone. CISP is a non-governmental organization with headquarters in Rome, Italy currently working in 25 countries around the world. CISP has been working in Ethiopia since 1986, engaging in emergency programs, social rehabilitation, and long-term development programs in close partnership with local communities and national and international organizations. Under the motto, Rural Development for Self-Reliance. I am a programmer. 
This program seeks to reduce vulnerability of targeted pastoralists and agro-pastoralist communities suffering from man-made and natural disasters impacts and to improve food security at household level by restoring the self-sufficiency and livelihoods of disaster-affected population in Taltele, Dure and Yabello districts of Boronazon, Oromia Regional State. The program objective is to enhance the health of status of the pastoralist communities through supplying adequate and safe water by increasing the existing water coverage of the three districts to 50 percent. After conducting a study of the indigenous knowledge, attitudes and practices of pastoralist communities and organizing a participatory workshop at the district level, CISP began specific activities to achieve its objectives. After a hydrological survey and discussion with local and traditional authorities, the drilling of new deep boreholes and rehabilitation work was implemented for a total of 16 water schemes. Each plan is equipped with water distribution points, masonry reservoir with a capacity between 20 and 50 cubic meters, shower houses having different rooms for males and females, local clothes washing basins, cattle troughs, generator house, and underground pump. The development of wells uses service rigging to increase discharge rates and maintenance and improvement work within the rehabilitation schemes of the existing structures. These completed water systems are able to provide safe, clean, adequate, and accessible drinking water for human and animal consumption in Teltele, Yabelo, and Dure districts of Boranazon. In recent times, we are going to a long distance to fetch water from ponds and elas. We are spending most of our time outside home. Really, after the construction of these water points by sea, our problems, especially women's problem, are solved. The workload of a woman decreased. We are now fetch a clean water from the nearby water points. Not only human beings, but also our cattle got clean and safe water. Waterborne disease affects both human and cattle, reduced. Now, we are able to use our time properly and support our family. <laughs>